Welcome to Rytec USA's Rye Data Toolbox. Today we're going to show you how to upgrade your old traditional hard drive in your laptop to a new high performance solid state disk, the Rye Data Ultra S Plus solid state disk with up to 128 gigabytes of storage space. It's this easy, so check it out. Tools you need full version of the operating system installation disk and a screwdriver. Locate the hard drive compartment commonly located on the underside of the laptop. Remove the screws from the hard drive compartment. Remember, not all laptops have hard drives located in the same section, so you may have to peek open one or two sections to find it. Removing the lid on this hard drive compartment shows you what your hard drive may look like. To remove the hard drive, gently pull it back so it slides out of the connector. This hard drive has a SATA connector, so we're installing the Rydata Ultra S Plus SATA solid state disk. Slide the new SSD drive into the adjoining connector. Some older laptops have IDE connectors, which have pins instead of these flat panels. IDE connectors can use special adapters for SATA, or can use an IDE solid state disk. Screw in the hard drive compartment lid. Next, we'll show you how to set up your BIOS screen. Your BIOS screen may have a different layout than ours, but working through this one will help you understand the steps to get through your upgrade smoothly. Configure the BIOS. Turn on the power. As it starts to fish, quickly press F2 to open the BIOS configuration menu. You should see Rye Data SSD. Press the right arrow key to switch to the boot menu. At the boot menu, we can reprioritize where our Rye Data drive should be, which is second in priority. Use the up and down arrow keys to highlight Rye Data drive and the F5, F6 key to move the Rye Data drive to second in priority. First in priority should be DVD RAM so it can install the operating system in our next step. Hit the right arrow key to exit. Hit enter. Now insert your disk of the full version of your chosen operating system. Lastly, hit yes or enter to reboot your computer. Installation of operating system. As your operating system loads, Follow your on-screen directions for your operating system. In our case, we're using XP, so we'll press Enter at the Setup screen, Agree to Licensing, and we'll change the format, the file partition, using NTFS File System. Press F. Once the installation files are loaded, your computer will reboot itself and it will be ready for its first application as a revived high-performance laptop. 